What's up, what's up? Welcome to episode 9, season 5, Sherry Power Boy Review. It's your boy Inc. Let's get right into it. Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, we have uh, I Am the Liquor. So, famous meme, very famous meme. Uh, if Jim Leahy was to be represented by one phrase, it would be I Am the Liquor. People still think about, talk about that in the show he did, the live show he did. This episode is absolutely fucking crazy. So, first of all, we got Rick. Who's trying to save? He's trying to save. Um, Trin and Ray from prison, and it, it's kind of cool because he has, bro, it's, it's a really good episode. I think it's my favorite from season five, right? Uh, we have Ricky goes to court, and you know Ricky is good, and even, um, even if it doesn't make sense, even if it's fucked, the argument he presented is actually pretty good. He's talking about how the car is his house, because Ricky lives in his car, he has open liquor, but he lives in his house. So it does make sense. Um... There's some really, really cool scene with uh, Julian who kind of betrayed the, the boys to buy his trailer because he's sick of being like a loser. But then you remember Ricky from season two who didn't have, even have clean clothes. So, of course, Ricky's going to get mad. And it's it's phenomenal because although we see... We're, there's so many things to unpack in this episode. Uh, so many things. So, Brandy is usually besides Leahy, and he's usually supportive of Leahy, but then he realized that Leahy is going a bit too far. So, he's like, are you good? And then Leahy's like, I am the liquor, Randy. So, that was a really cool moment. There's also the moment where, um, again, Julian is by the trailer, and the boys are pissed. He's really pissed because Ray he called him. Ray called Ricky and said, yo, uh, Julian just fucked us. And there's a there's a madness, and I think personally, I think that Ricky and Julian, I think they're really good friends. But I think if two people were to fight, I think Bubbles saved the situation. Bubbles saved the relationship because again, Bubbles comes in and he saved the relationship. He, he's actually the one that says, "Yo, stop fighting. We have things to do." Um, it's it's amazing. There's such a funny scene where a Julian has a call, call me in Trevor. He goes, "Call me Trevor." Like a dog. And you get a, a funny scene with Bubbles saying, It's sad, really. Yet another funny scene with uh, Bubbles. It's all out of order, but it's been a while. I'm sorry. I didn't even take notes because I was like, I watched them all in all. This weekend I was depressed and I was sick. So, I had to stay in the bath. I had to stay in the bathroom for a long time. And I don't necessarily have paper in the bathroom to write. Um, I have paper toilet paper but that's not the same um so yeah so we had this really cool scene with bubbles that was being told by cyrus i'm gonna i'm gonna mess you up um it's cool because it's really fucking cool because although Leahy he is a bit uh crazy and he he really wants the boys gone forever thought about killing them but not him cyrus so he, he takes the money tells cyrus they have your hash uh and he bought but bails them out which all is all orchestrated and uh, guess what? It makes sense. It would make sense. Even if it's drunk, even if it's a fucked up plan, it does make sense. You can see what, where the lady is coming from. Uh, Ricky managed to get Trinity back. And it sucks because Lucy does say, yo, you're in charge. But Lucy knew that Ricky was letting Trinity go in the car. She didn't do shit. So if you get caught and you're, you're complaining, but you don't get caught, you're not complaining. That's a bit phony, you know? Again, not trying to... to eh, I'm not sure... I do like Lucy. I do like Lucy. I think she's a good mom. I think she's a good girlfriend to Ricky. Eh, it's hard to say. It's really hard to say. Um, so yeah, so we have the show there. Again, uh, it's kind of cool because when when Ricky has a fight with Julian, he goes right with his family. And you can tell that he's really where he wants. He wants to have chicken finger with his family and he wants to be happy because that's all that matters, right? And uh, half of that, a third of the, the, the driveway is it, so it's, it's, you still get a lot of money, right? So, a lot of time back in this episode, but still a pretty good episode. Like, honestly, my favorite episode of the... Mmm, 8 and 9 were pretty good. And yeah, they were pretty freaking good. I like that uh, Trevor and Corey were fired because they didn't listen. How can I forget? How can I freaking forget? So, Leahy, he learned about the hash driving, and that's why uh, he... he uh, Oh my god, this is so out of order. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> no excuses. I have no excuses. I'm just a fuck up. Um, <laughs> we have uh, this episode where um, they know it, something is up because they're always around the driveway. Something is up and they're stealing cards. So, uh, Leahy tricks 
Corey and Trevor to come. And then Corey, uh, Trevor tells them about the, the driveway. Then they get fired. And then knowing they got fired, Ricky's like, yo, you're working for me now. So it's basically Ricky, uh, Corey, Trevor versus Bubbles and Julian. And uh, it's it's amazing because, again, Julian, it, feel, it feels bad for Corey, Trevor. They get mistreated, but Julian trusted them and he gave them, like, a lot of chances. They still fucked it up, so we are not understandable. If somebody in your friend group always fucking up, you're not gonna give them them. You're not gonna give them a lot of responsibility. But if you're doing a lot of work and somebody in your friend group is not pulling their weight, it's kind of sucky, right? That's the whole episode right there. It's a seriously good episode. Seriously.